brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Los Angeles Chargers. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Tony Michel, his first carry. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Second down, Michelle. He'll get about four as he's past the 35 to the 38-yard line. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Now just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Throwing now is Brady. Open man, it's Allen. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Five yards is the pickup there. Is that what they needed on that throw? I picked up the first down, and I'm going cliche here. Game of inches, partner. Absolutely. We, and you talk to me a lot about opening drives, how key those are to set the tone. You kept the drive alive. Third down conversion here is big. On the ground, Michelle. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> On the handoff, it's Michelle. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. They get nine yards back on the run there, and they're left with a much more makeable third and two. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid. Combination defensive back, combination linebacker. We saw the linebacker make the stop. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Four down, four down. Wait, 20, 20. Yes. A give. This is Michelle. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. To throw, it's Brady. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. The Patriots into the red zone for the first time. They've got a first and goal from the 10-yard line. Four down, four down. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that. Down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Hey, four down, four 
Wait, 20! Wait, 20! They'll give it to him up the middle. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And they're going to stop him here short of the goal line with the flag down. Well, this could set up a very interesting decision. So they decline it as that will bring up fourth. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. Koskowski's kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. They're look at it. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Desmond King on the return. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And Charles, I've got to give credit to the Chargers because you finish 12-4, second-best record in the AFC, but you find yourself in the wild-card game. You travel across country and play in a 10 a.m. start for them if you consider West Coast time, but they found a way to beat Baltimore. They certainly did, and they were the first team to see Lamar Jackson, the quarterback for Baltimore, twice, and that helped them because they limited him for most of the ball game. Didn't totally shut him down, but made it very difficult for him now, how about this? 9-0 this season in games in which they've had to board a plane are the Chargers. And that includes a home game in London. The only loss? And they took a bus across town to play the Los Angeles Rams. Interesting. And their playoff lives continue. We'll see how they fare this week. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Ready? On second down, they'll run with Gordon. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Call it a gain is seven and it gets him a new set of downs. Rivers on first down. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there. 26 yards. A nice little completion there by Phillip Rivers and you and I were reading the article yesterday. Fifth grade Rivers had to do a project where he had to make a poster about his dreams and aspirations, so he clipped out a football player from a magazine article and pasted his face on the helmet. That's what he wanted to be, and it turned out okay. Not so bad, not so bad at all. Remember, he's the son of a coach, and on that play, I think he made the old coach proud with that completion. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route... It's extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. Session. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll throw again. Rivers. 
He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. In for the score. And the Chargers are able to strike for six. And while that touchdown does not give them an insurmountable lead, it's still a lead, and that always feels good to a team. They'd love to take that into the lockers, but a little time left on that clock, so some work to do. I like that. I like how you're guarding against a letdown there. Are you looking forward? Coaching them up from right up here in the booth. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. All right, as the Patriots come back out here, take me to school on their upcoming round two game against the L.A. Chargers. How does this one shake down? Hey, you and I are in the same classroom. We're both sitting right up front trying to get schooled on this ourselves. But I think the Chargers coming in hot, feeling good about their victory in Kansas City on their home field. They're very confident, led by Phillip Rivers. But New England getting that week off by being the number two seed and the Chargers going to their place, a lot of people are going to rely on New England's experience and history to carry them home to a victory. I think the Chargers are coming in awfully hot. I wouldn't be surprised at all to see the Chargers pull this off. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. 20. Wait, 20. Throwing on first down is Brady. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. By 20! By 20! Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. Now he's forced out left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. get him down but he's inside the five all the way to the three so we have reached halftime intermission with the visiting chargers on top as we'll send you down the coast now to orlando that's where we find jonathan coachman ready with our ea sports halftime report coach so rivers will lead the chargers up first and 10 at their own 25 yard line They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Gordon. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Good. 
Second down, Rivers. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now Gordon on first down. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Tough first half for him. Unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Rivers now on second down. And his pass incomplete. Keenan Allen, the intended target, and it's third and five. You can't be precise with your throws, especially sometimes the emotion, the excitement. Sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Set, From the shotgun, it's Rivers. This is caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They've been stuffed twice here for losses. Now it's... Working out of the gun, Rivers. And he's got it. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They're able to hold him to three there, and that leads to a fourth and goal. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And his kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. They took it all the way to the one, but in the end, opt for three. It just doesn't sound right, does it? If you get all the way down to the one yard line, isn't that supposed to be a play in the end zone that culminates in a touchdown for your team? <laughs> and per usual, it felt like the guys on the sideline wanted to go ahead and go for it. Of course they did, but of course head coach, it defers back to him, and he made the decision, let's get three out of this, make sure we get some points. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. <laughs> Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed. Any time. plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. 
But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Now Brady throwing on second down. Over the middle, Dorsett. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Back now in Foxborough. It's Patriot football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Brady now on first down. And a dump off to White. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll make it second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open 20, field. 20. On second down, here's Brady. He completes it right side to right. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll give him eight on. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Mike, right. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. On play action, now Brady. And able to find Dorsett. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. On first and 10, here's Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Hey, 20! Wait 20! Again, it's Brady. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. He's back to throw. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Philip Dorsett, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. The extra point, a vital one, and he gets it to go. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Now Austin Eckler on the return. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. 
The Chargers getting set to go. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point. The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bash. I don't know about that. Bash. <laughs> Super tall. <laughs> He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. These are the spots, this stage of the game, where it pays to have speed on the perimeter, doesn't it? It certainly does. And in the second quarter, he may very well have run by him. But in this situation, I know as a defender, I'm loosening up a couple of extra steps that allowed him to run with him stride for stride. Here's Rivers. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. So back-to-back -back incompletions now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots. As it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. Here's Donnie Jones now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. This is White on the screen. certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Goskowski with the extra point, and that makes it a 17-10 score. Goskowski now out to kick it away. To return it now, here's King. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So out come the Chargers. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Well, these corners, I tell you, they've done excellent work all game long. They remind me of guys in the past who just said, hey, throw it out here 100 times. Nothing good is going to happen. And if you throw it in the wrong place, I'll take it the other way. Ready. They'll look to throw. Caught left side, Williams. 
And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the fourth. Back to throw. And that's incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. This defense so strong all afternoon long. Well executed again there. This is a group that really functions well off of each other. No matter what the assignment, the other person fills in in the exact proper spot. They've made it very, very hard for them to find open places to throw the football. The 180 Back to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gordon. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as he'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Set. Delta. Behind. Behind. He'll look to throw. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And with inside of ten seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Set. Delta. Set. Rivers to throw. And he can't corral it. That would have wrapped it up if he'd been able to hold on. Instead, it brings up third down. They took their shot for the end zone, almost cost him. And he made the right play there, knocking it away. But, boy, it looked like he had a chance to come down with the football. And if he does that, this thing is over. Instead, he leaves them out there with another chance. They tried to throw on second down, Good. unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. One last shot now for Rivers. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Well, we were on hand for a fun and entertaining game here. Coming down really to that last play. Great job defensively to get the pick and seal it. And we know that every play during a game matters. You're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones. But at the end of the game, when you analyze it, three, four, five plays are going to be the ones you focus on. And that last play was one of them. The last shot had to take it. And they came up with the interception and sealed their victory. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.